What's up? It's Susie from Hey Grill Hey, and I'm here with Char Griller and Kingsford to bring you Barbecue 101. Today, we are tackling some of the most common questions asked with charcoal grilling. How much charcoal do I need to use, and how do I set up my grill to get the results that I want? I'll walk you through all of it. Let's do it. We're gonna kick this off with how much charcoal to use. We're gonna be using Kingsford Original Briquettes today because it gives us consistent performance and that classic smoky flavor. If I want my grill to run at high temperatures, around 450 degrees, I'm gonna start with a full chimney of charcoal briquettes. Half a chimney of charcoal will get you to about 350 degrees in your standard grill. A quarter chimney of charcoal is better for that low temperature cooking, about 250 degrees. Now that we know how much charcoal to use, let's talk about where to put it on the grill to get the exact results you're looking for. The first way to set up your charcoal is for direct grilling, which is a single layer of charcoal across the bottom of your grill. The closer it is together, the higher the heat and the longer your charcoal will last. The more you spread it out, the faster you'll lose temperature and the lower your overall temperature will be. I like to use this method for thin cuts of steak, thin cuts of chicken or burgers. The second method of cooking that we're gonna talk about is two-zone cooking, also called indirect cooking. This is where you have your charcoal banked on one side of your grill and no heat on the other side of your grill. This gives you a hot zone, a cool zone, and a nice variable temperature zone in the middle, which means you have ultimate control over how your food is cooking. This charcoal setup is perfect for thicker cuts of steak that you wanna slowly raise in temperature and sear off over the high heat at the end. It also works great for vegetables or things that you wanna kinda of slowly raise in temperature. That variable zone in the middle is great for things that you wanna flip a lot of times so you get even heat on both sides and keep things moving. The third method I wanna to talk to you about is offset cooking. Now, this smoking Champ has a side fire box where you place the charcoal and the heat and the smoke flavor is actually drawn through the barrel, through the smokestack. This is typically best for low and slow cooking, and I love doing those old school barbecue meats with this particular cooking style. Think brisket, ribs, pulled pork, perfect for that offset charcoal setup. Now for all three of these methods, your charcoal can be started with a chimney or fire starters. I know setting up charcoal can seem intimidating the first couple of times, but with the right setup and the right tools, especially from Kingsford and Char Griller, you'll be well on your way to becoming the next backyard barbecue hero. And honestly, barbecue is fun. It's not always gonna be perfect the first time. It's okay if you try things once, try it a little bit different next time. It's not an exact science, it's more of an art. And the more you do it, the better you get at it. <laughs> 